Hello everybody, that is here. Happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen and thank you for keep joining me on my quest of testing variety of GPU blocks on 4090. I have a Asus variation of it. So today we're moving to our fourth block on, in the lineup and it's going to be a latest variation of Beats Power Nebula version 2 of the block that comes in a humongous size of the box. You can see the what uh, <laughs> it's basically double si size and inside is pretty much empty we have absolutely nothing except the block itself and two little bags oh no it's the wrong one and two little bags one with tool one is a few screws so this block is a quite a bit different from what we've seen before let me elaborate why if we look on the back plate Look, there are no coverage, any thermal pad, no contact on the actual main chip area. And we have also must use the bracket that can we remove from GPU itself. So it will be interesting to see. It's a least backplate coverage in the lineup of our GPU blocks. In a K, we have a massive thermal pod right in the middle and backplate fully covering with alpha cool we have a kind of squarish type of thermal pod here we have absolutely nothing so we'll see if it will be any effect of this design on the temperatures quite curious but i even afraid to guess but i assume that if they did it maybe it's not much difference another difference from anything else we saw so far is the fact that you can see it but when we open I show you all thermal parts not only pre-cut but already applied on both block and, and um, back plate so installation is supposed to be the fastest possible version we had so far so let's uh, let's open it up traditionally for GPU blocks we have backplate attached to the block so it's safe for the transportation here actually it's only two screws wow i thought it will be three at least so this very seems like minimalistic type of design and uh, here we go look two thermal pads already attached here all we need to peel protective film attach it to the graphical card and we're golden same here so what we have all thermal pads everywhere attached it's a little bit more thermal pads than on a reference design as i see it so that's interesting and uh, we need to apply thermal paste and basically install it so let's see what the manual suggesting here so step one, remove back plate. We already did. Step two, basically just put it on. They're not even saying that you need to apply thermal paste here, but I guess most people should know that. And when we applied this stuff with, uh, I'm just curious. They don't even show which screw. Oh, step three okay we put it down and then those screws and the final step will be putting this uh, original bracket in that's interesting too with any block i install ever in my life you start with the middle part always here you 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 finishing installation with the middle part so that's that's kind of interesting yeah so this is the layout of all the thermal pods in case you need to replace them in a later day and some notice stuff alrighty so let's start the procedure of removing thermal pods just coming quickly halfway I really like the fact that they have a little bit of extra film hanging on the side so it's truly simple 
to take it off. Only on the small parts we still have to work a little bit harder. But the removing of film very easy. It's much easier than on both Alpha Cool and definitely AK. And I keep reminding you that it's a good practice to clean both of your blocks and uh, your GPU before applying any thermal materials. It's expensive piece of hardware you're dressing up, so it's worth to do proper preparation. I use Arctic Clean. You can use anything else, but don't skip that step. It's important. There's actually another oddity with this block. Unlike anything else I've seen before, thermal paste is not included. You need to provide your own. And another thing, which is different in this block, that you can see that those posts actually have some guides. So when you're going to install your PCB, it's a little bit of less uh, guessing because you're supposed to be guided right in the correct spot. So just underlying box was on the way. So it's actually very nice much easier than anything i seen so far traditionally i'm a little bit wiggling to set the thermal paste in a better way and uh, okay no screws at this point and we need to peel more thermal pads So far it's least hustle type of the block I seen so far. Okay. No guides here, so we're supposed to line up things on our own. Hopefully we'll do it correctly. Okay. Next step will be bunch of screws around and the middle will be last part so we have a bag of screws let's do that all right all screws in they didn't say how to do it if i'm not mistaken let me double check blah, 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 blah. no so for the best practice i Try to put those two screws first, tighten them a little bit in a cross manner, those ones also. So I try kind of level it more or less in even manner. But nevertheless, I see that circuit board a little bit bent. So I we haven't seen this with other blocks. So I decide not to completely tighten up before I'll put original bracket in place and then I will tie up everything in a different manner so I need the Philips here so let's see how that goes and uh, I report back in a sec alrighty so everything tied up after I put the middle part the bulge of the GPU gone so it's more or less straight right now which I'm much more happier but it, I think it's it's not like 100% straight but close enough so not something that I am worried about so the last step will be attaching the bracket back and here final result block is attached so we can see interesting cutout on a back plate that we haven't seen before another difference the final difference that bracket only attached to the PCB, there's no attachment to the block itself. EK and Alpha Cool both have additional screws that goes to the block for making it more sturdy. So all the stress through the bracket will be going through the PCB right here. So maybe a good idea to be a little bit more cautious 
just in case but uh, in terms of installation experience by far the fastest installation we ever had minimum amount of screws everything already pre-cut attached in terms of thermal parts the only thing i had to do is uh, put the thermal paste on a pcb so that's very fast installation that's for sure thank you for watching we'll put block in action and we'll see how it perform and that will be absolutely separate type of videos uh, with the result thank you for joining me see you soon guys